So I just opened up my box from uh, Optics Planet. The new Viridian IR laser hand stop. Can't wait to try this out. That is cool. Had to pause to go get a knife. So, the reason I got this is my IR laser on my AR-15 went down. It was a, a Firefield Battletech. I had the uh, LED light plus a green laser plus an IR laser built in. Main reason I went with that was yeah. because it was a one of the, the cheapest name brand that I recognized and believed in um, IR lasers on the market. And to its I am credit, it wasn't anything really that I think it did wrong. Um, inside the housing, there's two contact pins under spring pressure, and uh, you remove the light head to change the battery. And I did a swap in the dark. And I think I cranked on it without the bayonets properly connecting in, and it sheared one of those pins off. So it's nothing that the Firefield Battletech did wrong. It was me. But regardless, it went down. And I had it for about a year and a half. So I just figured it was, you know, game over for that unit. Um, and uh, I contacted Firefield to ask about buying a replacement pin on it. And they said, Oh, just send in for warranty. Come to find out, the warranty's three years. How awesome is that? So they're uh, replacing that unit for me. Um, but since I didn't know how long it was going to take, I went ahead and bought this handy little cute thing here. Now, online, it all looked like this bright green color that was here and there. But it looks like the IR model is purple. I actually like that because it had that, you know, zombie hunter green kind of look on that bright little button and that just didn't really look like it was going to fit on my weapon, but I was like, you yeah, uh, know, I'll deal with the zombie hunter green. That is much more subdued and easy to miss. I like that. But yeah, little IR laser. This mounts underneath the AR and when you grip, it turns on. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to see it because it's IR. I have no idea if it's even on because I just unboxed it. Maybe the camera can pick it up. I don't know. But, yeah. Cute little thing. Got to go get my uh, AR now. So, I had the Firefield Battletech mounted under here. Uh, since this is a, a direct M lock. I just got to replace this little thing here, so i got to take this off too. But I figured I'd take the time to, just real quick, mention I was uh, going to go with one of the Holosuns. Holosun uh, LS117IR. Um, but uh, they're on back order. Like, seriously, for weeks and weeks. They, they were estimating, like, a couple months, like two and a half months out before they'd be able to ship the unit. It's like, wow, okay, well, kind of want it now? Um, <laughs> and uh, the Viridian was available to ship the next day, so I went with that. Here we are. Let me get this thing on. All right, so here it is installed. Very simple and sleek little thing. I mean, that is, that's tiny. I, I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so low profile. I mean, that that's fantastic for not snagging up. I love it. But yeah, that really cuts down on the junk on the gun. Like, that's amazing. I love it. The only question I've got is with this Magpul grip here, Is it gonna clear that barricade stop? Oh. I'm honestly not sure. Look at it. 
it looks like, and there's the laser, and there's the stop. It looks like the lens is either just below or right in line with that barricade stop. So, I don't know. Might have an issue, might not. Can't really tell right now. I'll have to uh, take it out with the night vision tonight and test it and see if it'll clear that. That's a slick piece of gear. It makes your weapon night capable. All right, so we are out here in the dark, dark of night. Um, there is no moon out, there's no illumination. Let me tilt back so you can catch the stars there. And uh, Gen 3s definitely amaze me when it comes to the stars. Like, wow. <laughs> it definitely does hit the, the front uh, barricade stop here on the uh, Magpul um, MOE hand grip. So I definitely do need to Dremel that out. Yeah, right about 200, 250 yards seems to be about where you lose it. All right, and that's with half the laser being blocked. It is just gorgeous out here. It's also freezing, it's about seven degrees. So I'm gonna cut it for here. All right, so I had the Viridian on this Ruger AR556, but as I showed before, that little barricade stop looking thing slash hand stop there was interfering with the laser. So, pulled it off the Ruger and moved it over to this little guy. Now, obviously this doesn't have that same issue. It's just nice and clean right there. And looking straight on, you can see the laser is completely unobstructed right here. So we'll go out with the uh, night vision tonight and see what the difference makes. There we go. Damn, that is crystal freaking clear all the way out there. So that is 300 yards. This is an IR laser only. That is 300 yards out there that this laser is tapping those trees. Man, that is just clear as a bell through the night vision. Wow. So this private road in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. And it is 600 yards all the way down to the end there. Oh my goodness, look at that. All the way down there. And easy to see, clear as a bell. Wow. All right, this, this Viridian HS1 infrared laser is impressive. It's also got a tight dot too. Wow, all the way out, 600 yards. That is crazy. All right, well, colored me impressed. I wasn't real sure what to expect out of this little unit. Um, I'm impressed. <laughs> I've, I've used a couple of different IR lasers um, and uh, blooming is kind of an issue, especially in the Gen 2 unit. Um, Gen 3 seems to do a little bit better for whatever reason. Um, but uh, yeah, blooming was an issue with quite a few. Um, it'd uh, get pretty diffuse and uh, the dot would be <laughs> like dinner plate size. So to see how crystal clear and pinpoint this remains all the way out there. I mean, that is just remarkable. 
and such a small compact unit too. So, yeah, kudos, Viridian, solid work. And as usual, anytime we're out here filming, we gotta get some stars. Oh yeah, those are beautiful. Oh, there's the UFO. All right, time to go.